right, man. Let's talk about uh, Shakur Stevenson getting in the ring with Devin Haney um, and calling him out. And people saying, well, Devin Haney ran out the ring. Well, they spoke. Yeah, they spoke. And Shakur, you know, said he won't fight Devin Haney. He said he thought Lomachenko won. You got to understand, his vested interest is he would have fought Lomachenko next. That deal was probably already in play. And Devin Haney, you know, you got to remember all this, this shit that they saying about Devin Haney is uh, he might not be on top rank after next fight. Now, he said he opened to coming back, and I think his options are there. And it don't sound like Eddie Hearn won him without the belts. You don't know where Al Heyman stand on it at. Um, you don't know where Al stand on it at. So, you know, uh, with them trying to make Canelo and Benavidez, we have to wait and see. But, I mean, Shakur Stevenson did what he supposed to do, you know. Um, closed mouth don't get fed. You got to let people know what you really want. You know, you got to put the pressure on Devin Haney publicly. And Devin Haney, people say, oh, Devin Haney ran out the ring. Hey, yo, I just got out of the fight. Let me enjoy my fight. One thing I always hated about boxing is when somebody get knocked out. When somebody get knocked out, they interview him. I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like it. And then when somebody say something crazy after they get knocked out, People want to people want to be mad. That's why I don't really take people knee jerk reactions. You know, when you go to the fight, let let them sit, let them rewatch the fight at home or whatever, and then figure it out. But I, I take that shit for a grain of salt. But yeah, he wants that fight. He want to put the pressure on Devin Haney. Um, you don't know if Devin gonna stay or not stay. But eventually, in their minds, it gotta happen. You know. I'm pretty sure they had a they had a deal in place for Lomachenko. I just gotta understand. Oh, I thought Lomachenko won. Yeah, because you was gonna get in the ring and fight Lomachenko and get a shot at all the belts. Now Shakur Stevenson gotta pick up each belt one one by one. That was gonna be his leverage over Tank Davis, even though he it wasn't gonna mean nothing. Never let this belt go. Tank Davis gonna pick up that the Super WBA belt. He's not gonna get penalized for for ducking uh, uh, unification bouts with. But Devin Haney, he not. You know, Shakur Stevenson, now he got to go out there and get a belt. And probably the game plan now is probably going to let Loma get another crack at a vacant belt. Shakur get a better back a crack at a vacant belt. They're probably going to fight sometime in 2023 for a unification bout, and then they're going to go from there. Then for Shakur Stevenson, if he beat Lomachenko, it's probably going to be hoping that, you know, Esau Cruz or Williams of Pay to get in the ring with him. And then... After that, hopefully he can get that Tank Davis fight. But Tank ain't fighting him, dude. He got a better chance of Devin Haney standing and fighting him. And, and let's keep it real. He got a way better chance. A way better chance. You know? A way better chance. A way better chance. So... Don't nobody put no pressure on people that ain't popular. That's one thing about boxing. This shit like high school is a popularity contest. Because when Shakir Stevenson fights somebody else, all them same niggas that was that's fake dick riding Shakir Stevenson. Uh, when it came to Devin Haney and they was these fake black niggas, these black dudes out here that was sitting here, uh, uh, fake pro black, don't like black women, don't marry black women, don't know how to approach and talk to black women, don't know how to break the ice with black women, don't even like their own mammies. All right, they would, you know, they would, you know, they was out here capping for uh for Lomachenko. They was out here butter biscuit dancing for Lomachenko. Let's not forget they was out, they was out here uh, buck dancing and raccooning for Lomachenko. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> And now they was the same ones talk about Shakir Stevenson when Shakir Stevenson uh when he uh when he had that incident where Lubin had the Hennessy bottle in Miami and he had that incident that they always bring up when he fight. Now all of a sudden, you know, it's the lesser of two evils. We're gonna dick ride Shakir Stevenson because he beat our Lord and Savior, Ukrainian Jesus Lomachenko. Like I said, I don't I don't fuck with people like that, bro. Enemy of my enemy ain't my friend. Now, if we cool and we got the same enemy, that's different. I don't live on that principle, dude. But 
Like I said before, that'd be a good fight, man. It's good to set a good person in both of them guys' rut. Devin, like, what, 23, Shakur, like, 24, 25. That'd be a good person, and hopefully that start a new era of boxing. These dudes get in there fighting. That's what you want to see. But Shakur Stevenson, of course, his vested interest was Lomachenko winning. That was an easy fight to make. Now Devin Haney got options. They knew Devin probably was going to move up. It's probably Tank or move up. And I'm, and I'm going to speak on Tank Davis. Because all his fans got more faith in him in, in him than he got in himself. Than Al, than Al got in him. And that's what I don't understand. I don't understand that shit. But yeah, I would favor Secure Stevens over Devin Haney. Um, Devin Haney looked strong last night. Looked stronger than he usually looked. He faded towards the end. That probably liked to do it with the cut. But Lomachenko, Shakur, the T.O. faded worse than he did. Because uh, Devin strapped his nuts on in the 12th round. He came back and won the 12th when he had to have it. When he had to have it, Devin came and strapped his nuts on. Yup, he strapped his nuts on, bro. And he, he, nobody talk about how he delivered in the crunch. Like I said before, man, that's why I don't believe in black boxing. I don't believe in nothing black no more. I don't believe in politicking or, or getting together and making moves with black people, bro, in a group. Fuck that. It's too much embedded hatred. We don't never stay on cold, bro. Canelo fans stay on cold no matter what. Mexicans stay on cold no matter what. White people stay on cold no matter what. Black people be going three or four thousand different ways. That's why I tell you, I know when I walk into a job and I see this majority of black people in there, I know it's bullshit. Y'all be laughing when I say that shit. I know it's bullshit. You know? But if black these black boxers want to start fighting each other, I'm all for it. I'm not going to say, oh, man, Devin don't need to fight him. No. Nah. If Devin want to fight him, fight him. You feel like you can make the weight and you ain't got no excuses? Fight him. We Devin wasn't the one that said I had to get on the scale two or three times. That was Lomachenko. So in reality, you got beat by you know uh, Devin Haney that wasn't even a hundred percent. But Shakur Stevenson, man, he looks strong, powerful, and the more fights he get at one thirty five, the more he gonna grow into it. The only question for him is, did you know draining himself to make twenty six and thirty? Is he going to make 35 a pitch stop or or he going to stay there? Now, he said he going to stay there, you know, he there for the long haul. And I think he said a few years he there for. He going to try to make a home there. But the thing about it is, if he was really putting a lot of strain on his body at 26 and 30 to make the way, he going to outgrow 35 pretty fast. But I think he young enough and small enough where that ain't the case. But, yeah, you know, he just too got too much good balance. He understand angles. And for Shakur Stevenson, bro, you got to make him do something that he not comfortable. You got to make him uncomfortable. You got to make him uncomfortable. You know? And the reason he stopped a lot of people's volume is because he understands distance and angles. That's why he under he, under he understand angles. He understand distance. He very patient. going to keep you at the end of them shots. So, you know, I think a guy like uh, that fight like William Zapata, Isak Cruz, probably got the best chance of getting them problems. You know, but you got to make him do something out of his character, honestly. If you sit there and try to box with him and go tit for tat, it's going to one, it's going to be a boring fight. And two, you're going to get out of box. He's too sharp. Got good hook, good straight left, good, I mean, straight right, good straight, uh, I mean, straight left. You know, you got the entire package. And then you can't really counter him because, you know, he throw, he land. Devin Haney is the more exciting fighter. But um, Devin Haney, man, fighting Lomachenko, I think one thing that he left, and he and he hurt Lomachenko a couple of times when he threw the punch, he left the left hook out. He left the left hook. He was a more, I don't know if he seen it or not, but he the left hook was there. When he threw it on Lomachenko, he fucked him up a couple of times when he threw that left hook, excuse me. So when he fights Shakira Stevenson, he going to need that left hook. He, he clipped him with one in sparring. And then she pushed you know, Shakira to the ropes. He big. The higher the weight class to go for him, the better chance he got against Shakur. But yeah, man, I'm for it. I'm for it. But you know, Lomachenko, you know, Shakur might have to fight Lomachenko. But I think the strategy will be get Lomachenko a quick victory, spin it where well he really didn't lose to Devin Haney, right? Then you know, then get him a, a vacant title when Devin drop it, and then you know, Lom Shakur get a vacant title and they make that fight. That's going to be about, well, Shakur beat Lomachenko better than Lomachenko. 
I'm better than Devin Haney. That's what they're going to try to sell on. They're going to try to use secure to pressure Devin Haney. I already know what it's going to be like. You know? You know, so we already know what it is. People hopping on the secure Stevenson bandwagon after saying nasty shit about it. That's one thing I can't stand about these fake, these fake ass niggas out here. Look here, man. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you on Monday through Sunday. I don't mess with you. I ain't gonna say, oh shit, they got my nigga John, John, whatever, at the Bad Bath and Beyond. Let's take a picture. Nah, man, I don't fuck with you. This is what it is. I don't like your energy. Hey, this is what it is. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna keep it moving. A lot of these niggas talk shit about Devin, but as soon as they see him at, at KFC or some shit, then they wanna take a picture. Man, I don't be. I don't pay internet niggas no no mind, bro. None. None. I done ran into niggas on, on social media and everything, bro. From from niggas don't be about that, bro. I'm telling you, niggas be thinking shit sweet. Shit ain't sweet. Nigga been sent your ass to see Jehovah and one thing twice about it. <laughs> but yeah, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all my notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We got a live drop video. Hit the link tree. Uh, find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, App Podcast, Google Podcast, all nine. Hit the link tree. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.